What's up Video 4 Nation, I'm Magic Bard and for today I'm going to show you how to jump through a mirror and then loop it so it looks like you're jumping through a mirror and it's going again and again. This was inspired by the Kevin Perry Vine video where you see him going through mirrors inside of the forest. It's really trippy looking, looks pretty cool. A lot of you guys have been asking me about that one. So this is where this one comes in. <laughs> um, if you've seen the tutorial where I did the moving through mirrors effect in the bathroom, you probably already know how to do this, but um, I'll go step by step on this one so you guys can really get it, hammer it in, and um, definitely check out that moving through mirrors effect we've already done on video fort. With that being said, I want to give a shout out to Jimmy Wan for noticing the reference on The Last Samurai on that last tutorial yesterday. Um, one of my favorite movies, The Last Samurai, loved it, and way to go, Jimmy, for getting that reference. But, if you guys are new to Video Forward, hit that subscribe button, and hit the little bell icon right next to it, so that way, you'll be notified every time we put out a new tutorial every single week. Now, let's jump into it. Step one, I want to show you guys how to film this, so what we're going to do is start your camera near your mirror, and then kind of come out of the mirror and you're gonna look around do this kind of sort of spin around see yourself in the mirror and then you're gonna go into the mirror and try to get that same angle that you got in the very beginning okay and don't worry that it's it looks like it's flipped because we're gonna fix that in editing so that's the key to this is that you're when you start recording that you're looking at the same all the same stuff as the beginning and the end so now Let's jump into the edit room and create our edit. So take your file, your footage, drag it into a new composition, and let's start the edit. So step two, trim this clip to where we need it to be. So right when I start movement is when I'm going to start this, right? So it's right about here, Command Shift D. Trim that down and I can delete this footage over here and then go to the very end to when I go into the mirror and boom command shift D again and I'll delete this footage over here drag this clip to the very beginning and this will be our first clip okay now let's go into composition composition settings and um, let's make this a little bit longer the duration to maybe 35 seconds for now just so we can see more and then let's duplicate this clip command D drag it to the very end right here make sure it snaps on and now we have to flop the image so go into your effects and presets type in FLOP flop drag that onto your top clip and now what that's going to do is match up these two clips okay as long as you did that very first step where you shoot the same angle into the mirror as you do coming out of it so that's what we've got right here now what you got to do is create the transition so what we're going to do for step three is create this transition. So zoom in here and go one frame back, drag this clip one frame back, hit T for your opacity, drop that down to 50% just so you can see everything. And then what we're going to do is hold down the shift button, press P, R, and S for scale. Okay, so we can see our position, scale, and rotation and we are going to keyframe all of this stuff. So position, scale, rotation, make sure you hit that stopwatch for all of them. And now let's move it into position until it looks about right. So here looks pretty good to me. You can rotate it a little bit if it looks like it needs to be rotated, but this looks fine. Now, not everything will be completely clear. What you're really looking for is the center of your clip, trying to get that as good looking as possible onto you know really match this up it won't be perfect but it, you know we'll fix this up so this looks good to me and then what we're going to do here is towards the end I'm going to uh, bring all of these back to their default settings so rotation zero um, scale 100% that's good and then this is 1920 by 1080 okay so that's the center of my frame okay you just want to get this to the center turn your opacity back up to 100 percent 
and um, let's create let's actually create a little fade so I'm gonna drag this clip out a little bit and start the opacity keyframe over here at the beginning at zero and then bring it back to hundred percent around here okay good so what's gonna happen is this is gonna fade in and what we can do is right about here keyframe this one more time and just make sure that everything is still about right okay so it's going to kind of zoom in there like that cool now what we gotta do is for step four duplicate your first clip again command D and drag that to the top and then drag it to the very end and then we're going to create a transition for this part as well I mean you can almost if you shoot it perfectly you can go without creating the transition because it'll just work but I did not do that so let's hit the plus sign zoom in here and drag this over one frame and we're gonna do the same thing so T drop that opacity down to 50 percent hold down the shift and press P R for rotation and S for scale and um, let's match these clips up so I'm going to move it down here and maybe scale it down 1% so 99 and that looks fine to me let's see if the rotation needs any solving maybe scale it down to 98 okay cool let's keyframe all of that so position scale rotation and opacity we will hit that opacity keyframe down to zero and then let's drag it out a few frames bring the opacity back to 100 percent and um, bring everything back to its default so 100 percent scale zero on the rotation and then of course 1080 by 1920 for the position and then let's drag this guy out here and then kind of check the clip and add some keyframes to get it in there and then what you may also want to do is keyframe the end of your second clip as well so we'll call this second clip and so at the very beginning of our third clip I'm going to hit the keyframe button for all of our keyframes just to make sure it sets everything in place and then what we're going to do is transition this to fit so I'm actually going to delete that keyframe and then move our bottom clip around until it looks like it is matched in there maybe scale it up 101 maybe 102 and then I want this transition the opacity to get to 100 percent faster so maybe like that cool that looks good so now what we've got here are three clips first clip transitions into the second clip that transitions into the third clip now we need to create the loop okay so what we're going to go is what we're going to do is go to our first clip and find a part where we can do that transition so what I'm looking at is the edge of this mirror right here and right when it gets into frame that'll be my beginning so right here I'm gonna hit the B as in boy to start the beginning of my frame of my shot here and then at the end I'm gonna find that same shot okay right where the mirror comes into frame and this time I'm going to end it right before the mi the mirror comes into frame so there's the corner right there I'm gonna do it right here so I'm gonna press the N as in Nancy to end it and then right click trim comp to work area and that will create my loop so this is where it starts 
and then it ends right before I see the corner of the mirror and it'll loop again right there perfect just how we like it so now we're going to pre-compose this so go back to our project go to our IMG and let's just name this so we'll call this our mirrors edit and in order to pre-compose uh, that's not it so I'm gonna delete this so our mirrors edit in order to pre-compose it just drag this into a new composition now we've got our mirrors edit 2 and what we're going to do here is go to composition composition oops not that composition settings and let's drop this into a Instagram format which is 1080 by 13 50. Press OK. Cool. And now let's scale this down to 50% to fit it into the frame, just like that. And now what we're going to do is time remap this. So I'm going to hit right click on our layer, go to time, enable time remapping. And what we're going to do is speed it up at that transition point. Okay. So right about here, when we see this. So right before the transition happens, okay, so I can see it getting blurry right there. Actually, we're going to do it right after. So right here, hit that keyframe button right there, drag it out a few frames in the beginning. If it and what we're what I'm looking for is this slow motion action that's going on. So I'm going to start it right here and then we're going to do the same thing at the second transition right here start another keyframe right as I'm going into the mirror and then right at the cut right about here we're gonna add another keyframe let me just check that okay cool so that looks good now we need to shorten the distance of the keyframes right here and right here. Remember, these are our transitions. So I'm going to select all the keyframes at the end, drag this in to shorten this distance, which will speed it up. And I'm going to take these keyframes, these last two keyframes, do the same thing, shorten this distance, okay? And then what we're going to do is check it. So hit that B as in the beginning, and let's uh, check this first one, and then hit N and then hit that preview button to see our transition take place. Alright, cool. That looks better. Now what we got to do is scale in position, scale and use the position of this comped composition layer to help disguise our transition. So let's do that really quickly. I'm going to hit that I'm going to hit shift S and P or shift S. Okay, so we can see our position and our scale. And what I'm going to do is right here keyframe the position and scale and then zoom in here and move this over a little bit. Okay, and then what we can do is bring it back and bring this back to 50 and then position it back to where it should be, 540. Okay, so what's going to happen here is zoom in and we won't see that um, blank space as that we saw before. And then what we can do is duplicate these command C command V and drop them over here and then we can zoom back out so take these ones command C and then command V okay so what that's gonna do is this is zoom in hold for a second and then zoom out okay and then we're gonna do the same thing with the position and the scale over here at this uh, at the second transition so we can even copy all of these command C and then drop them off over here, Command V. And just make sure that they are linked up at the right position in the frame.
Okay, right there looks good. And then boom, it should loop back. So what we'll do is bring the key, bring our playhead right to the last frame of the shot and press N. Okay, so we can close that up and bring this to the very beginning. And that's where we will create our loop from there to there. And then guys, that's how you create the walking through mirrors effect, jumping through mirrors effect. Obviously, I, I ran through this really quickly. Um, what I would do if I were you is tweak these little things that we just created. The transition, obviously, the most important part of this whole thing. Um, just making sure you match one clip on top of the other. And, um, you know, you can create the little transition of by using the keyframes to go from a one position to the next and then that'll help kind of flow from your first clip to the second clip all right and that's basically the effect it's very similar to the mirrors tutorial that we posted a few weeks back so definitely check that one out if you haven't seen it yet all right guys so i hope that tutorial made sense if it did leave us a like and let us know in the comment section if there's any visual effects editing tutorials you guys would like to learn and we'll get to them as soon as possible. So other than that, this is Video Ford, I'm Magic Bard, and I'll see you guys on the next one.